we still have 34,000 people dying on our nation's highways every year. As long as there's a single driver losing their lives on our nation's highways, um, it's too much. And we had gone out to eat and I was trying to get back on the freeway. Ended up running a red light, causing serious injury. My daughter had been at school and um, was leaving school with three of her friends. Another young man from another high school uh, ran the light at the intersection right in front of the school and broadsided the, the car that my daughter was in. She died. A young lady talking on a cell phone, looking straight out the windshield, ran a stoplight, and the vehicle she hit was ours, and my wife was driving our 12-year-old son to an after-school activity, and he died in the crash. Telling a loved one that their loved one is gone is, is not something that I look forward to doing. Every single day in this country, 100 people die on our roadways. Many, many more are injured critically. Their lives are changed forever. Think how we would respond as a nation if an airliner was crashing every single day and 100 people were dying. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, another crash, another crash. It is a problem that is a major public health threat, and yet it's not something that is widely recognized. The average automobile accident uh, emergency room visit is probably in the range of fifteen to $25,000. Um, there, there is no such thing as an accident, and uh, we use the term motor vehicle crash to signify the fact that there's a good chance that something could have been done in regards to that crash. The most serious crashes we see on arterial streets are the T-bone crashes that occur when someone runs a light. These red light cameras can, can really train people not to do that. The reality is that, that when you slow down drivers in a predictable way, the number of accidents and the number of very severe accidents that used to occur at high speeds really does decrease. For safety, they're a great technology. When you have a situation where you have real speed control issues, those cameras work. A lot of people, and particularly people who are opposed to them, say that they're only there as a revenue generator. Intersection cameras should be there for uh, saving lives and as a, an added tool for local police officers in helping them enforce the law. It is a reasonable step taken by government to reduce the risk of injury. They really reduce some of the intersection crashes where red light cameras are in place. We've got technology we've built into cars and into roadways to keep us safe. What's wrong with technology to help enforcement? Technology is, is great. Technology is perfect. It is a great way to be what we call Big force multiplier. It's difficult to know the motives of politicians who decry the use of road safety cameras. Driving is a, it's a privilege and not a right. And driving has been regulated since the beginning of, of our driving days. And uh, quite frankly, people do not have a right to drive in a way that endangers other people on the roadways. But across the board, the things that save lives are, are supported by most of the public. And we all will save money and be happier, live more fulfilling lives if we can reduce all the crashes that occur every day on our highways. If you're obeying the law, you have nothing to worry about with these cameras. And we really can't have enough police officers to have everywhere, so this automatic enforcement or automated enforcement I, th I think can be very helpful. Government has a right and a responsibility to protect communities. But the notion that we have a right to walk the streets of America and somehow deprive others the right to take photographs of what transpires in a public place is just as wrong-headed as it can be as a matter of law. Uh, it does drive me crazy when uh, people complain about the cameras because a $150 ticket versus taking somebody's life. There's such a difference there. 
in an instant, I almost took somebody's son away from them. $150 is a lot easier to come by than the guilt you have to live with the rest of your life.